In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the HTTP publish and subscribe stream features of the Oracle Stream Explorer. First of all, we authenticate and log in to the Oracle Stream Explorer. Next, we will use our transportation and logistics catalog section to define an application and artifacts for vehicle monitoring. First of all, we will create a transportation stream that will use HTTP publish and subscribe. First of all, we'll give the stream a name transport underscore stream, a useful description of this stream, associated tags, transportation to make sure that this artifact retains within the transportation section of our catalog and we define a source type of HTTP subscriber. Next, and we define the server URL for our HTTP publish and subscribe server. We define the channel which will we use uh, for this application and the user ID and password needed to access this server. We press next and now we define the shape of the event which will come from our HTTP subscriber. Once we have defined the shape we will save this or create this stream. Now we have created our HTTP publish and subscribe stream, let's create an exploration to analyze the data from that stream. We will create a new exploration, provide it with a useful name, we provide a description, useful tags, and the source that will be used for this exploration. In this case, it is the transport stream. We create. And now we can see the exploration canvas ready to accept the HTTP PubSub messages. To test this application, we will go to the Oracle Event Processing Visualizer. We log in. And when we use the, the visualizer to dynamically create the HTTP publish and subscribe messages that will be input to our exploration. We do the view stream, we initialize the client, and we publish to the channel that we've used within the application. We will specify the HTTP publish and subscribe message and publish it. If we take a look at our expiration, now we can see the information provided in our expiration. We can add a filter on our expiration, in this case looking for any event messages that indicate a vehicle distance that is greater or equal to five. We go back to our visualizer, change the message details and publish. Now we can see on our expiration that we're filtering out messages where the distance is greater or equal to five. Now we have created our expiration. We can now publish our expiration for use by other business users who wish to use this as an input stream into their own applications.